the question is what is EDS uh, hypermobility syndrome and why do we talk about it so much here at the caregiver uh, meeting so EDS is Erlers Danlos syndrome and I'll call it EDS we also sometimes call it uh, hypermobility syndrome but um, for those of you who are newer to the our chronic pain caregiver meetings two of our caregivers have uh, children that have EDS and um, the person that came here last month that said their significant other had passed um, he uh, he had uh, EDS and so it's on our minds uh, but we should make sure you understand what EDS is and um, it's an inherited connective tissue disorder it has a lot of different presentations there's many mutations that have been identified that can cause a defect in the synthesis of collagen uh, so there's many types there's le different levels of severity the collagen for anyone that doesn't know is the connective tissue that helps resist deformation it's very important in your physical strength, your skin, your joints, your muscles, your ligaments, your blood vessels, your uh, visceral organs, and abnormal collagen makes these structures not function right, they're more elastic, and uh, like I said it can be different levels of severity depending on which kind of mutation you have. There's no cure to this disorder, there's a lot of genetic research being done, but treatment is supportive including uh, close monitoring and uh, occupational therapy, physical therapy, assistive devices, bracing, sometimes corrective surgery. There's a lot of injuries and a lot of pain associated with EDS. Uh, we have to be very careful with these individuals and they don't do well with surgeries because they're fragile skin, they're fragile tissue. Um, hypermobility syndrome, they call themselves bendies. Um, that's uh, here is use that term that's who we're talking about um, and they have a uh, you know the the people that are here are here because uh, they take care of individuals with severe chronic pain and this is a disorder that has severe chronic pain the, let's just go through some of the things that these caregivers are going through with their um, significant others uh, EDS sufferers have hyperflexible joints, unstable joints, they get osteoarthritis, they get degenerative joint disease, degenerative um, spinal disease, they have swan neck deformities of their fingers, they get severe fatigue, they have weak muscle tone, um, they have problems walking, um, osteopenia to osteoporosis, stretchy ligaments and tendons that tear some of the muscles that tear deformities of the spinal scoliosis um, they, have, they have myalgias and with muscle pain and arthralgias, joint pain um, stretchy skin really fragile skin that tears easy and bruises easy uh, with abnormal wound healing uh, fragile blood vessels with tendency towards aneurysms and valvular heart disease, um, vascular skin conditions like Renaud's. Now, one of the big things that they get is POTS. We've talked about POTS before, postural orthostatic tachycardic syndrome, or the intolerance, the getting up and, and uh, movement can cause drastic changes in your blood pressure, and there's a dysautonomia often with these people. Um, digestive disorders, just about all of them, gastritis, reflux, irritable bowel, diverticulosis, diverticulitis, gastroparesis, uh, migraines, nerve compression disorders due to the um, uh, abnormal, uh, you know, the, the, the compression through where these nerves uh, get go, they get trapped, uh, like um, carpal tunnel syndrome, um, certain neuropathies, uh, compression neuropathies, uh, TMJ, 
there's just a lot of things that can happen um, to them and a lot more than than most of our chronic pain disorders we discuss there's no cure it's supportive um, I like to say that uh, the member we uh, is not here and the person they lost was was the smiliest most optimistic person I have ever seen. No fear. Every day was a gift. Heaven's lucky. We miss, uh, we miss them both at our meetings. So, uh, uh, that's what EDS is. And I'm going to take a break. <laughs>